So in this video, what we're going to talk about is scratch discs uh, and why scratch discs are so important to always change in the beginning of a project. Uh, it's one of the ways that you can uh, get very confused very fast and start losing where your project files are saving to. Um, and hopefully what we're, we'll learn by the end of this tutorial is how to avoid that. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go over to my hard drive, and we've already discussed the ways to organize our folders. Again, this is the very first step, and it's very important to do this, and it's very important to, to adhere to the protocol and keep everything clean and everything organized. If I go into this folder, for instance, I see that I have a folder in here called Project Files. This is going to have some project files. Again, I started working on this in uh, Premiere, but it's going to ultimately be where our autosave files and our render files and our project files are going to live uh, so we know where to look for them uh, come time to start editing the project again. So I'm going to remember that folder and that folder is basically where I'm going to set my location to save these. That's exactly what Scratch Disk is saying. It's a part of a hard drive disk that you're scratching off those uh, files too. So you're basically saving. It's going to be something that we can set and if we go down to Final Cut Pro, open it up, this is where we need to reset our scratch disks. And if it doesn't prompt you to this, I'll show you where that is as well. So what it's saying right now is there's an error because a drive that was set previously uh, is not here. So we need to reset this. If we hit reset and hit OK, it's going to take us to this window and here's where we can set our actual scratch disk. So I'm going to go hit set and I want to, for every individual project that I'm working on, I, I, it's imperative that we actually set this to exactly the location that we want every single time we open the project uh, and open a different project. So I'm going to go to production desk. I'm going to go to Train to Christmas Town. I'm going to go to Project Files, and I'm going to hit Choose. Once I hit OK, and I'm just going to pop this open and go to that location again in Finder. Once I hit OK and continue, Final Cut, if I minimize it, you'll see that Final Cut now has made a renders and capture scratch place to save this project. Now the last step I want to do is go to File, Save Project As, and save this project file to the exact same location I just sent my scratch disks to. So if I go to Project Files, in here I want to name it, and again we're going to use this protocol uh, 2014, or 2013 rather, 12, 27, train to Christmas town. I hit save. Now it will be saving as that project. All my autosave files will be saved there, and all my render files will be saved there. Uh, if you're not prompted to reset your scratch disk location, again, it's something you have to do every single time you start this, you, you open Final Cut. It will be different for Adobe CS6, but every time you start Final Cut, you need to change uh, where those scratch disks are located or ensure that they're saved in the right place. And if I go to, I believe, System Settings, in there, in, I'll do that one more time for you. Final Cut Pro, System Settings, we always want to make sure that we set this. It's absolutely necessary, and it's the it's the easiest way to start saving things in the wrong uh, folder and start losing valuable time uh, for trying to find things that uh, we can prevent from being lost uh, from the get-go. Uh, 